Skeleton of Thought generation technique comes from a paper published in ICLR in 2024. In this paper, they talk about how humans tend to write about a topic where they will take a question or the topic mentioned here, and then first generate a skeleton of the topic. So in this case, they have three bullet points. And from those three bullet points, the bulk of the blog or article or research is written. In contrast to a normal decoding technique by LLM, where you provide a topic and it gives a response in one go. So we're going to look at how this parallel technique is more efficient and reduces the latency in comparison to something that is sequential and that might take a bit longer. So the key to this type of generation is the skeleton prompt template, where first we're asking the LLM to provide a skeleton in a list of points. So this is something about three points or so, and each point is gonna be very short, where we say it's about three to five words. And then we take these points, which are three to five words, and expand that a bit further where we say we wanted to write about one to two sentence about that particular topic. So essentially we're generating the first skeleton, which is just a few words to a few sentences. And then from there, we're going to generate the larger chunk of the writing. The way we can implement this in Langflow is that we first take the topic of interest and provide that to a blog where we have essentially the two prompts that we saw earlier implemented as part of this code here. So first thing is that we are asking to provide a skeleton and this is going to be a few bullet points and each of these is three to five words. And then next is to expand that a bit further, as we saw earlier, one to two sentences for each of those points. Now, once we generate the response from an LLM about the topic provided here, we see that the response looked like this, where we have the few words, so three to five words in this case, and then we have the expanded version of it for each point that we get back from an LLM. And in this case, we ask for three points. So now the task for the first LLM response is completed. And then we take that response, since we had three points back from the LLM, we're gonna have a three set of parsers to get that text and then expand each of those points. So as we see here, we're gonna take the first bullet point and then we ask for the LLM to help us expand this text a bit further. So we're taking the subject, we're taking the topic and then send it to OpenAI based models in this case. And then the response that we get back is a detailed writing for that particular topic. So we have three detailed responses back for each of the topic that we provided. We combine the text together. So in this case, the first detail detailed response is combined together with the second detailed response here, and likewise with the third response as well. And then the final response that we get back is a combination of all three of the detailed articles or generation that we got back from the three LLM calls. And this is what the skeleton of thought technique implements, where the LLM generation is happening in parallel, and it's a bit more efficient and faster compared to just writing a topic in a single pass. This template for Skeleton of Thought is available in the Langflow store. Give it a try and let us know if that was helpful.